Beautiful foggy morning. I'm at my favorite golf course pond right now. I'm gonna start things off with a uh, black buzz bait. And I got a couple special guests coming today, but let's see if we can catch a few fish before, uh, before they arrive. Yo. Oh, I see you. All right. One of the uh, one of the two goons is here. Not the typical Guggen squad though. This is a this is a different type of Guggen. All right, let's go meet up. All right, we got my boy here. How's it going, YouTube? We've got Andrew Pecked here. What are you starting off here? What do you got to drink? So we got the Monster Energy Drink Import, and we had a gas station chicken salad croissant. Got to stay somewhat healthy, I guess. I don't know if that's really <laughs> oh, yeah, healthy, real. but all right, all right, let's go. Got to start off the day right. You look a little tired there, man. Yeah, I'm running on two hours of sleep. Last video, I was running on one hour of sleep. So I figure today is going to be twice as good. We're going to catch twice as many fish, have twice as much fun. Why are my feet so wet? Got Maybe the other goon right here. What's up? What's got up, Kevin. YouTube. How you feeling about fishing today, man? I'm ready. You said I was going to catch the biggest fish of my life. If I don't, you guys should unfollow him. Unsubscribe to Michael Shao here. Hey, how are we going to catch any fish, though? Andrew over here said the uh, fish are sleeping. Yeah, how come we don't <laughs> videotape you? Videotape me? We don't need to videotape me, man. No, let's tell you what you're wearing, dude. What I'm wearing? All right, fine. Yeah, I'm prepared. You got the GoPro shirt. GoPro with the GoPro, all right. What's this thing? That's my microphone. That's the wind mic. Okay. I'm ready to catch some fish. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, those are Asics, man. Those are the best tennis shoes. We're about to do fishing. some fishing. Well, Kevin over here is petting the mannequin. What's going on here, Kevin? This is my lucky, my lucky, what is this? A wolf? A fox? What the hell is this, actually? I think it's a dog, isn't it? That's What kind of dog is that? What the fuck? <laughs> That's definitely a dog. Is that a dog? Guys, comment what do you think this is. I'm pretty sure this is a dog. It's gotta be a dog. I don't know what kind of dogs you have, Michael. Sheesh. Uh, we we'll, we'll gotta get some fish. Let's catch some fish. Alright, let's catch some fish, boys. What kind of bait you guys wanna throw? Have you ever caught a fish on an artificial lure? Have you, you have, right? Artificial? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know this guy has, definitely has not. <laughs> I definitely have. I've artificial. I practicing your hook setting, bro. Yeah, dude. Have you actually I'm caught a, a fish now. on an artificial bait? No, you haven't. Alright, we'll give Andrew the easier bait to throw. Kevin will be get the more skilled bait. Perfect. Go get him, man. Do so you want to cast? Just start walking around. Start here and just cast like towards the shoreline. You want to do a sample cast for me? You need a sample cast? <laughs> Alright. You undo the bail. <laughs> you don't have to stay that far. I'm not going to hook you, man. <laughs> alright. Put your finger here. And you want to cast parallel to the bank, alright? Cast it out. Wait, you want to cast that close to the bank? Alright, maybe not that close. Not that close, maybe. But uh, look at that bait. Dude, look at that monster. If you catch one, dude, it's going to be a giant. I got it. Just feel it slow and steady. So you want to keep it close to the shore? Probably within 10 feet. There right, you go, Kevin. Do. Can do. Actually, both of you guys can either do slow and steady or stop and go. And if you and when you see the bass hit it, wait one second before you set the hook into them. Oh my gosh! Do you have him? Oh, fuck. did you see that blow? Yeah. What the? Fuck? <laughs> Holy cow! Dude, throw it back in there. Throw it back in there. Dude, how big was that fish? I don't know. I kind of got, I got really scared. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I got uh, really scared. That was a five plus pounder, bro. Uh, Did it grab the bait? No, it like. It missed it. It missed it. Yeah. That was so scary. Holy <laughs> cow. My heart definitely skipped a beat right there. Kevin, wait. Have you ever thrown a topwater bait? Uh, no. How'd you feel about that blow up, bro? That was terrifying. It was actually really scary. I, I didn't know what to expect. That was a really good fish. That's too bad he didn't eat it. That'd been an epic start to the day. Struggling uh, out here. Yeah. Well, we've only been out for what? 20 minutes? 30? Really? I was about to call it a day. <laughs> we just made one loop around the pond. Kevin was the only one who got a hit. It was so, huge. So we need a decision. Do you guys want to stick with your same baits or do you want to switch them out? Andrew, what are you, how are you feeling about that bait? The pompadour. You know, Michael just tries to even the playing field by giving me the <laughs> baits. <laughs> but it's alright. I totally understand. That, what we can do is keep trying. And I'll show Michael who's the better fisherman. That's cool, dude, but you still didn't answer my question. Do you want to switch baits or stick with that bait? I'll stick with it. I mean, stick with it? just give me whatever you want, man. You can give me a piece of cheese on the end of the reel. All right, how I'll about I'll still catch some big fish. You yeah, I'll, I'll... I'm going to go to the spook, and we're going to switch up. We're going to switch up Andrew because he doesn't quite know how to work the pompadour. 
try and go hillbilly hand fishing. This is how this is how you work in the pompadour, guys. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not gonna catch you any fish, bro. You wanna let the bigger fish know that the little fish is injured. So that's why it's swimming a little funny. <laughs> We're gonna give you a chatter bait. That'll be easier. All right, so hold on. Stop. Don't cast. Switch it up. Andrew's making a little uh, change here. What's your uh, what, what are you doing right here? Going to chatter bait. Yeah. Well, what about <laughs> the feet? What about the feet, bro? What about what the feet? <laughs> Dude, what's going on over here? This is why you don't wear rainbows to go fishing on a golf course that's wet. Dude, I blame Michael for that. Yeah, Michael told me it was gonna be warm. Also, in fact, I said it's gonna be cold, and then Michael said, "No, pussy." And so this is why I'm wearing a it's sleeveless. It's 60 plus degrees, man. Who cares? <laughs> this is why I'm wearing a sleeveless right now, YouTube. Besides, you know, showing off the guns. <laughs> Sun's out, guns out. You know the saying. I'm gonna use the old chatterbait. You ready for the chatterbait? Is chatterbait like a website where you masturbate? And chat? <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me, dude? Uh, give give me some flack. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. What is a chatterbait? What is chatterbait? I think I have to show you. <laughs> you show me, okay. All right, let's take a look. Yes. I showed this to my viewers. No, you're not showing this one to your viewers. <laughs> Let me go on the incognito mode. <laughs> Chat chatterbait, oh my god. Wait, chatterbait's actually real, guys. Holy moly. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Dude, not, you would know something like that. Not that I know. You would know something like that, man. No, we're not talking about that chatterbait. We're talking about this chatterbait. Dude, get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Come on, like man. On YouTube. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's going on YouTube. I like it. All right, second time around, no bites. Switching up baits. Andrew requested uh, something crazy, so we'll hook him up. You ready for the trout swimming bait, man? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah? How are you going to work it? Do you know how to fish it? Yeah, like a squid. <laughs> 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 yeah, like a squid. It sounds good, man. Mm. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> There's no way you had a bite. But the first one was probably a bite. Oh, I got one. I got one. I got a fish on. I got one. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Woo. There we go. <laughs> Shaky head, baby. That's a three and a half. Oh, come here, girl. Oh, yeah. Come here. Dude, that's huge. What the freak? <laughs> Fish number one. Dude, look at how fat she is. Damn. What do you think about that, bro? Pretty impressive. You know what the key is? Baiting with love, man. <laughs> Baiting with love. Look at that fish. Oh, fish number one, guys. Woo! Dude, I just got you a fish. How'd you get me a Oh, you did get me a fish. <laughs> is that my catch or your catch? Because you just about hooked me with that swim bait when you pulled it out of the water. If I catch you while well, you catch a fish, <laughs> the down tree means that, I caught the fish. Okay. I got. I can be- Oh shit! Yeah, he got me! <laughs> Dude, he got me again! He got me freaking again! Dude, you kid! I didn't want you next to me when you're fishing! Dude, this bait has some big ass treble hooks. Sorry, sorry man. Dude, it's because it catches on the weed. Yeah, well don't set the hook of the weed! If it's not jerking back, it's not a fish! Alright, we're making a move. Only had that one fish. We're gonna make a move to a pond that has more fish, because uh, these guys are struggling to get them out of here. It's not my fault, dude. How's it not your fault? You missed a six pounder, bro. The, the six, six pounder missed the hook, all right? The bait. Well, Kevin did get a bite. Andrew over here has not had a bite yet. I might have. <laughs> we don't know. I think it might have been a weed fish. <laughs> There's been a lot of those recently. <clears throat> We're going to the next pond. Hopefully our, uh, our luck changes around a little bit. I'm gonna cast parallel to the bank. Good cast. As always. Oh, we got one. No way. <laughs> Dude, cast to the bank in the shade line. Mike's catching, saving all the fish for himself. <laughs> Got one on the lipless crankbait. I say I'm saving the chatterbait for the chatterbait expert right here. I went to the uh, crankbait. What, what are you trying to do? I was just gonna touch him. Kiss him. Kiss him. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> all right, let him do. Let, him, let this dude go. So what we learned today was Mike's pretty sketchy. How am I pretty sketchy? So obviously chatterbait, slow and real. Are we going this way? Yeah, going this way. Into the tunnel. We're going to the tunnel. We're looking for another pond. I've never been past here before. Mike's been buying frozen fish. That's the secret to his YouTube channel. He literally just buys frozen fish from H Mart. Some of you might be familiar. And what he does is he hooks it onto his thing and then with some fancy video editing, makes it look like he's catching real fish. Yeah, that's exactly what I do. Thanks for telling everyone, man. Now <laughs> no one's gonna watch my channel. Where's the pond at? Is there a pond up here? Let's check up here. 
Alright guys, new pond. Hopefully we can catch some fish here. We'll see. No fish here. We're going back to the original pond because... Why are we going back to the original pond? No, not, not Andrew. Why are we going back to the original pond? It's been a slow day. We decided we might as well just go big or go home here. Alright, now or never. What are you guys thoughts? We're gonna catch this right fish. Here. Right here. Got the lucky shades on from Michael Shao. It's gonna work out right here. Andrew requested to switch from the chatterbait because he, uh, he already did enough chatterbaiting to uh, probably last a lifetime. I'm putting him back on the giant swim bait. Try to get him a 10 pounder. I got one. Do you, you really? Oh my God, he's got, he's got one. Dude, we just got back here. <gasps> oh dude. <laughs> wait, wait, you're gonna break the rod. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I, got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I landed for you. Oh my I don't God. Know what to do, man. <laughs> Dude, what cast was that? I don't know. I literally just tossed it straight ahead. <laughs> yeah, bring it close to me. I'll land it. Let me get down low. Ah, nice, dude. Look at this. Whoa! Uh, yo, bro. Whoa. Take your fish, man. Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, sh Dude, that's a nice fish. Is that your biggest bass ever? Yes, yeah, definitely my biggest bass ever. We'll get a weight on it for you. Hold that up. 3.57, three and a half pounds. Nice. Was that using chatterbait? Here you go, yeah, you let your fish go. Yeah, this is my chatterbait, man. Dude, it's all about the chatterbait, Andrew. I don't know why you switched. You love chatterbait, and come on. Dude, I love chatterbaiting now, too. <laughs> this is my new thing. How do I let him go? Get nice and low? To get low and just uh, oh, let her in nice and easy. Uh, hello, fishy? Okay. There she goes. I was so, dude, I was like, what if we killed him? Dude, nice, man. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> How does it feel to catch your biggest bass ever? Uh, it, it felt great. Uh, really new experience. I've never caught something that big before actually. So I'm glad that uh, Michael isn't a liar because he told me I was gonna catch my biggest bass ever today and I did. And uh, what do you think? Do we think we have a mandatory backflip celebration coming up? No. What do you think about that? No backflip celebration? Uh, is that celebration? my thing now? Dude, come on, man. All right, okay. You do it? Okay. Oh, all right, ready? Yeah. Oh man. Oh, right there, man. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, hey there, YouTube. It's Andrew Peck coming back at you with more pro tips from a novice. Right here, you can see we're using worm bait, you know, classic. But what we're doing is that since it's a finesse bait, what you want to do is you want to actually let it sit to the bottom. And then, you know, since it's finesse, you know, you can listen to me. But what you want to do is, you know, let it kind of sit. And it's more of a slow kind of fishing because you know, you want to act like a worm, let it sit, you know, wriggle it around the bottom. But pretty much with this kind of bait, you're going to catch these monsters out here like I've been doing all day today. Pro tip from a novice. Shows you how Andrew's bait going. When you see your worm missing, it normally means you got a bite. In this case, we don't really know what happened. It just kind of disappeared. But pretty sure I just got a big bite, you know. It was a 20 pounder. Unfortunately, I couldn't reel it in. You know, just an off day today, but you know, 20 pounders always come and go. So, hashtag life of Andrew Peck, the legend. Hi, mom. Hi, Mom. Hey, Lawrence. What's up? Oh, yo. Shout out to my boys down in North Carolina. Blake Rice, you already know. Yes. Mike P. Shout out to Mel. Stay strong in jail, man.